hi guys um, I want to show you the dual boot option in the Arduino board before that I want to show you where exactly the backup ROM is saved you can see on top of the Atmega 328 there is another IC that is actually a, an I2C E prom so you can see the IC and the decaps and the pull up resistors and all and everything is actually soldered on top of the IC and even the connections are also taken tapped from the pins of the microcontroller okay so I just want to show you how small we can make all these things by doing an extra bit of soldering work and all so I'll show you the demo now so what I'm going to do now is you can see the LED is blinking right it is actually 100 millisecond on and 100 millisecond off so now what I'm going to do is if I reset the system nothing is going to happen right the same code will run again and again so I'll just short the pin number 10 in and 11 okay I'll just short it now I'll reset the microcontroller and immediately I'll take it out so within one second I've taken that so now you can see that it is booting what, what is happening is it is taking the code from the EEPROM and putting it onto the flash and at the same time taking the code from the flash and putting on the EEPROM so now you can see the basic LED blinking demo of the Arduino is, is working can you see the LED is blinking on every one second right so now if I reset it again the same thing is going to happen right so now what I'll do is if I want to take the previous code back I just want to connect the pin number 10 and 11 and at the same time I just need to reset and immediately I need to take it out so you can see the dual boot option is working so and immediately after that it is it started the application right so that's it if I want to show you the again the same thing I'll just short it and I'll reset it and I'll remove it so now it's again doing the same operation once it is completed you can see the previous previous code working that's it guys bye